everyone welcome back to my channel today is gonna be um a very very different video to what i usually film let's just get into it so um this is all started whenever i started dancing so i started dancing whenever i was two and a half and i finished whenever i was 14. so i started in 2002 and i finished in 2014. i did my ballet exam i did my grade three ballet exam and if you're wondering got a merit okay um so after that after we finished our exam we were off for summer so we start back again in september it was getting a bit hard for me to do dancing because my my right foot it was getting really really painful for short for like short periods of time of doing anything so i told my mum, and she decided oh well we need to go to the doctor about this so yeah we went down to our gp and yeah he looked at my foot and it was it was quite swollen and we didn't really know why we went to the hospital because he preferred us there so i got an x-ray done at this first hospital um turns out at the moment there wasn't anything wrong my gp decided well, we're going to need to get a blood test just to make sure that everything is fun functioning well and so this is the first blood test of many that are, are yet still yet to come anyway um after that a few months down the line it, it just started to come back again so the first time we went was 2014 then we went back again at the start of 2015 and we went again and we were just explaining that the pain is still there and we don't really know what to do so then he referred us to the same hospital got another x-ray and more blood tests all that stuff it came back normal the blood test like it was fine no positive like there was nothing wrong so then i think i got sent to physiotherapy to try and do something about that but they couldn't do anything we waited again blah blah, blah, blah. a few months down the line the pain came back again it like just kept going on and off on and on on and off and we went to the went to our same gp again so we went to the gp and he actually said, okay, something's not normal. It's not normal. This is definitely getting serious. He referred us again to the same hospital. Got, a, got more x-rays done just to see if there was anything that they could do. And again, more blood tests. So the x-ray this time, they found a problem. I found that there was a broken bone in my toe. Bearing in mind, I've been to this hospital many times now and um, they couldn't see it before because apparently it wasn't there. Yeah, they said, oh, we found a broken bone, but we don't think that's the problem. The pain came back again and I just couldn't deal with this anymore. So then my mum made another appointment with our GP. So he said, okay, Emma, this, this is getting really, really bad that you've come to me many times now about this, that we need to get this sorted out. So he referred us to a different hospital. This actually happened on Monday. So we went to the hospital at like nine something, I wanna say like quarter to 10 in the morning. Just said that we're here, we've got an appointment, blah, blah, blah. Um, we had an appointment with a consultant. This is how serious it was, I've got a consultant now. So we went to see our consultant and um, she just wanted to see what was wrong and ask us questions, all that kind of stuff. Turns out one of my feet is smaller than the other so it's like that anyway that's not the problem it was something else and no, we were also booked at the hospital to have an x-ray i got yet another blood test <laughs> found out that i am one of the worst people to take blood tests from honestly it's i'm so bad i had a nurse try and do it the first time so would she tried to find a vein in my arm and um she put the needle in turns out the vein it, it was just too low she couldn't get at it and no blood came out <laughs> for the blood test so then she had to call another nurse to try and do it so she, had, she tried to do it on the, the same arm as the other nurse that did it and again and she couldn't get any blood because my veins are just so low down so then they thought, oh great, we're gonna have to call the consultant to, to do this. I didn't have to get another blood test because they actually found out the problem just looking at the x-ray. So it turns out for the past two years, I have been walking, get ready for this. I have been walking on a broken toe. First hospital that we went to, they actually found out, like I've said previously, like I've said previously, um, that there was a broken bone but they decided to just put that under the water it wasn't the problem it's been getting worse and worse for the past couple of years and um, the, the other hospital it just thought it wasn't gonna get any worse turns out it has obviously like because what bones do they try and heal themselves so it's been trying to heal itself for the past two years as well 
and it's healed itself in such a way that it shouldn't be like that. There is like a tiny bit of bone that shouldn't be where it is and that's why it's so swollen and it's my toe is not at an angle so it like goes like that instead of like straight down it has an angle. In a couple of months I'm going to get a letter to say that I need to get a CT scan and here's the big big news. I have to get surgery done on my toe because of what's happened if I was and they would just fuse the bones together and then it'd just be one bone but because I'm so young I'm only 15 they only do that on elderly people so yeah I have to get an operation done on my toe let me know if you'd like me to like do a, um, a vlog not a vlog but like vlogs of my journey through this whole thing if you see any crutches um, in the like videos in the future you'll know why and as you can probably expect I am quite um, scared about it and anxious and but I'm also happy at the same time I'm, I'm, I'm still quite mixed emotions sorry that this video isn't what I usually put up but I just thought I should probably tell you something that is going to be going on in my life for the next couple of months, maybe next, maybe it's still going to be like this next year, I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. You're all amazing, you're all little superstars, and I love you a lot. And I'll see you with some more happy video next week. Bye!